Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Top 5 Army. Today we're going to be talking about why Trump may have actually won the 2020 election. Before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Now let's get right into it. Before we actually start speaking about this, I do want to point out that all of the political views said in this video are not trying to push views onto you and are just for research and informational purposes. Many of you may have been following the 2020 election where it was a big deal about Donald Trump versus Joe Biden. The result of the election was that Joe Biden actually won, but Donald Trump is not taking this information lightly and he wants people to know that he actually technically won. Both Donald Trump and all other Republicans refuse to acknowledge the fact that Joe Biden actually won the presidential election. It has gotten to the point that Donald Trump actually wants to stage a coup and stay in office for a second term, which is absolutely ridiculous. Mike Pompeo, who is the Secretary of State, actually says there will be a smooth transition to a second Trump administration, and William Barr, who is the Attorney General, has actually authorized federal prosecutors to investigate election irregularities because of all Trump's allegations. But it is actually very unlikely that Trump will stage a coup and stay in office for another term. Let's explain why. For one, according to TheGuardian.com, floated by Republicans before the elections, Republican-friendly legislators in places such as Michigan, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania could ignore the popular vote in their states and actually appoint their own electors. Federal law actually allows legislators to do this if states have failed to make a choice by the day the Electoral College meets. Even though this is a thing, there's actually zero evidence of systematic fraud of wrongdoing in any state. So there would actually be no reason for this to be a thing. Richard Hazen, who is a law professor at the University of California, said, If the country continues to follow the rule of law, I see no plausible constitutional path forward for Trump to remain as president, barring new evidence of some massive failure of the election system in multiple states. It would be naked anti-democratic power grab to try to use state legislators to get around the voters' choice and I don't expect it to happen. Despite all of this, Trump has made horrible accusations against the voters that have voted for Biden. He said that all of the mail-in votes were actually illegal and they shouldn't have counted them as an actual vote. He said that if this didn't happen and they didn't count the mail-in votes, that he would have won by a long shot. Before the election results are fully finalized by December 8th, each state has its own deadlines for certifying the election results. In two states, Pennsylvania and Michigan, Trump's campaign is actually seeking to block officials from certifying the results because he believes that all the results were illegal. Trump is trying to do this as quick as possible so that they can blow past the deadline to create more quote-unquote wiggle room to second-guess the results. But unfortunately, states are going to start certifying their votes beginning in less than 10 days, so there's actually no time for Trump to begin to create this room for him to possibly interfere with these results. All in all, despite all of Donald Trump's protestations and all of his negative words towards Joe Biden, Joe Biden won fair and square of the election in the United States of America. There will continue to be a lot of drama surrounding this topic for quite some time, but this is all we know for now. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.